Hello guys, welcome back to the Zone Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily zone engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the compaction of soil. In this lecture, I will try to explain the that what is compaction, why we need compaction, and what are the factors that affect the compaction of soil. So compaction can be defined as it is the artificial and mechanical process of increasing the density of soil. Let's consider that this is any soil mass and there is a phase diagram of the soil in which we have three main components. The solid mass of the soil, the water content present in the soil and the air content present in the soil. So what we do actually in the compaction, we want to remove the air from the white of the solid mass so to increase the density of the soil, soil mass so to resist the more load without any settlement of the soil. So this is the main purpose of compaction to remove the air content, to remove the air content from the white and to increase the density of this soil mass so that it can resist the load without any settlement of the soil. In construction, the compaction of soil is a significant part of the building process. So compaction is the first step in order to construct any structure. We do the compaction of soil and then we construct the substructure and superstructure. So compaction of soil is also called as the stabilization of soil in which we in which we want to that our soil is stable and can take the load without any settlement. So if, if and if compaction is performed improperly, the settlement of the soil can occur and it can result in the collapse of the whole structure. Now I will try to explain that why we need compaction of soil. Let's consider that this is in the soil mass which has been uncompacted. Soil mass. And we construct the building on top of this soil. Let's consider this is a footing we constructed and at the footing we constructed the column and then on the column we constructed the beam. So this is the beam, this is the column and this is the whole structure we constructed on top of the uncompacted soil, right? So due to uncompacted soil, the load will try to deform this soil because this soil is now uncompacted. So what happens? There will be a slight decrease in the volume of the soil mass. And I represent this small decrease in the volume of the soil is delta V. And this volume and this decrease of the volume of the soil is due to the air content present in the soil mass. Which this air content is responsible for the deformation of the soil mass. If we have compacted soil, then there will be no decrease in the volume of the soil. And this delta V will be almost approximately equal to zero. And there is no, and there is no air white content in the soil mass. So there will be no deformation of, because of this load. So that's why it's important to have a compacted soil. Otherwise, there will be deformation which will cause the collapse of the structure, which might happen that this structure can be, can be collapsed. So it's very important to know the compaction of soil and to have compacted soil before constructing the structure on top of the soil. Now, there are some factors which affect the compaction of soil. I will try to mention some of the factors which affect the compaction of soil. The first factor is the type of soil. The type of soil affects the compaction of soil. Like for example, the clay, the gravel and the sedentary soil has different requirements for their compaction because of their particle size and the particle um, size distribution. The other factor which affects the compaction of soil is the, is the type of load type of load. Either the load acting on the soil is a static load or dynamic load because it quite uh, it quite affects the compaction process. Like for example, for the sandy soil, it is quite different from that of the clay soil. The third factor which affects the compaction of soil is the compaction effort. Is the compaction effort. The more compaction you achieved, the more degree of compaction you achieved, the less will be deformability in the soil mass. The fourth factor which affects the compaction of the soil is the moisture content and this plays an important role in the compaction of soil. So your moisture content should be optimized moisture content we call it the OMC. I will also explain this in the next video. This optim optimum moisture content should be there in your soil mass so that to achieve the maximum dry density and to have a maximum compaction. That's why it's very important to have optimized moisture content in your soil mass. Otherwise, it will lead to the deformability of the soil mass. So these are the some of the factors which are the type of the soil, the type of the load, the compaction effort, and the moisture content which affect the compaction of the soil. This was all about the compaction of soil. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. 
Thank you for watching my video.